I'm Alan Williams and I'm cooking in my kitchen at the Westbury Hotel today. So I'm going to be preparing Chateaubriand using Irish beef, grass-fed Irish beef. And I'm going to take the trimmings from the beef and make a very quick pie. So a steak and oyster pie using an Irish oyster as well. The beef that we're using is Irish beef. It's grass-fed. So by grass feeding, you're adding tons of flavor into, uh, into the meat. You've got lots of clover and yarrow, lots of sorrels and so on, so that that flavor transfers onto the beef. So the first thing I do is season the beef. Now I'm gonna roast it. And in the pan, I've got some beef fat. And I'm just gonna put the beef in and turn the heat down. Probably the most important thing about this, and something that's probably overlooked really, uh, really a lot by home cooks, is the tempering of meat. By tempering the meat, you're softening it, you're bringing it up to a temperature that you're able to transfer heat through the fibres more easily. So it's very important that the outside of the meat has a caramelisation. What I want to do is get that butter foaming. You're cooking it from every angle now, rather than just the base in the pan. With the trimmings that I've got left from the, from the beef, from when I butchered it, I'm gonna make a very quick pie. So traditionally you would use a, a, a tougher piece of meat and you would braise it for quite a long time to make a pie. But we have to remember that this is actually fillet. So this is the fillet of beef, super tender, needs almost no cooking. So what I want to do is saute this to get a little bit of colour on it before I cook it in the pie. So my vegetables go in. I've got celery, potatoes, carrots, my stock, which is a little sauce. And that is literally that. I'm going to add some fresh parsley to that. I'm going to put that into my pot. Then on top of that, I have a, an oyster. So around the bowl, I've just got a little egg yolk to help the pastry stick. And then I have this nice ring of pastry. So the pie goes in the oven. I cook this at 180 degrees on a fan oven for approximately eight to 10 minutes. Now the chateau has been rested for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna carve into that. It should still be nice and rare, but Still nice and moist in the middle, lovely pink. You've got a slight, nice caramelization on the outside, but as you can see, that is beautifully pink from edge to edge. So this is a really nice wintry beef dish. We've got the, uh, the, the steak and oyster pie. We've got swede on here, which is one of my all time favorite vegetables. Uh, absolutely love the flavor of swede. And then I've just got some little baby turnips, which just been blanched in a, in, a, in a lightly salted water, and then warmed up with a touch of butter, and some Swede slices as well. So we, here we have the roasted Chateaubriand of Irish grass-fed beef with a steak and oyster pie on the side, um, and autumn vegetables.